talking about hoop fest it's going to get underway tomorrow one of the big themes you're going to see down here it's a family event you see family brackets you see brothers and sisters playing with each other or against each other we have a couple of north side spokane legends that grew up playing hoop fest but never together well they're both back from playing college hoops and tomorrow they'll suit up on the same team for the first time our Alyssa charleston has more pick any basketball court in spokane jasmine and jade redmond have probably played on it they made Mead High School one of the best teams in the state together, then played against one another in college. Now, for the first time in a long time, they're back in the same city. I'm so excited. I've been waiting months. I keep texting her. I'm like, I can't wait for you to come home because she's home for a while. So I just so miss my sister. Yes, I'm just excited. I'm glad to be back and be able to play HoopFest again, and I get to do it with my sister. So. Both sisters on the same roster at HoopFest for the first time. Jasmine played college hoops at Gonzaga, Jade played at Eastern and then Nevada Reno. But they've been competing at a high level for as long as they can remember. Foul. <laughs> we definitely play against each other, get competitive, get mad, yeah, get our feelings hurt. But <laughs> we get over it. Yeah, it was fun, fun and it definitely helped push each other for sure. You might see them hurting other teams' feelings this weekend. They each bring a wide range of skills to the table. And we look for different things, like yeah. she's more getting to the rim, like she said, I like to do the pull-up more. Yeah. Um, she's definitely a defensive specialist. I try to be like her. <laughs> different styles, but always on the same page. Well, I know what she's going to do. I know what she's going to do, and she's just there, so. Don't be mistaken, the Redmond sisters are chasing a championship in the co-ed elite division this weekend. But they've also come to realize how special HoopFest is to their hometown. There's so many good female athletes that come out of Spokane that play basketball that have gone across the country and done amazing things. And it's just I want everybody to know about HoopFest because it is such a good time. Definitely is something I know both of us would always look forward to in the summer to get to play in. And it's a great opportunity to go out and be competitive and get to play some basketball weekends. Pretty amazing that basketball has taken them around the country, and for the first time ever, the kids from Spokane will play together in Spokane. Pretty cool story. And good